Hello, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a delicious homemade monkey bread using a two ingredient biscuit dough that I uploaded a video for. Now, the biscuit dough is two cups of flour of all, pur all purpose, and two teaspoons of baking soda, and one and a half cups of heavy cream, or two cups of self rising flour and one and a half cups of he heavy cream. And then you make it into a dough like this and you let it rest for about 30 minutes. So this is the biscuit dough, the homemade one. So for this recipe you're going to need a bundt pan, a half a stick to a stick of butter, a half a cup of sugar of your choice, um, pecans, and um, cinnamon. Now um, you're going to need about a fourth of a cup of cinnamon, ground cinnamon. So we're going to start by melting our butter in the microwave. And we're going to melt that for 30 seconds until it gets melty. Meanwhile, in a Ziploc bag, you're going to add your sugar and your cinnamon. So, get your Ziploc bag, add your cinnamon. It's about a fourth of a cup. And your sugar, about a half of a cup. Or less if you want, if you want less butter or less. You can use any kind of sugar you want. Coconut sugar, um, brown sugar, and use your ground cinnamon. Make a cinnamon sugar mixture. And then, um, for the butter mixture, we are going to add a drop of vanilla. So make sure your butter is melted. So another 30 seconds in the microwave. Meanwhile, we're gonna start making our little dough. Let me add a little bit more cinnamon in here. So you get your dough. Now if you don't have the fresh made dough, go ahead and use the canned biscuit dough, it's just fine. But this is a healthy way of making your own two ingredients though it's literally that simple. And this has no yeast in it, it's just heavy cream and flour, look. So you're gonna get your dough balls, put them in the bag, couple at a time, coat them, coat them real good, and you're gonna press it into the pan and start assembling them. Now you can get them as big or as small as you want, it doesn't matter, but press them into your bundt pan. Make sure you pre-spray or pre um, put some butter in your pan so it won't stick. And then we're gonna start assembling it just like this. So just get your little dough balls, roll them up, coat them in the cinnamon sugar, and do it until you run out of dough. And this makes the most fluffiest, most delicious tasting cinnamon balls you ever had with the quick, simple ingredients. Now we are going to add a couple of chopped nuts. It's optional if you don't want it with chopped nuts. I do. So we are going to put some on the bottom of the pan because the bottom of the pan is what's going to get flipped over once it's done. So what's on the bottom makes a difference so just go ahead and start that also you can do chopped apple we're gonna add a little bit of the chopped apple in between the layers after we have our our butter ready so for our butter for our apples, we're going to add a little bit of cinnamon sugar on top of those. We 
gonna coat them and we're gonna start adding them on the bottom. Now this is optional if you don't want the apples, just go ahead and do the nuts on the bottom and then keep forming your dough. So keep getting your dough balls and just continue it until you're done. If you run out of um, cinnamon and sugar, just put a little more. You see how we're starting to assemble it in the pan? Now this is gonna look really, really good. And it's going to be very, very good. And this is all homemade. Um, you don't need to get that canned biscuit dough, it's very processed. But if you want a quick snack, the biscuit dough in the can would make a delicious recipe as well. But I just decided one day to mix up my own dough and it works perfectly. So go ahead and continue that until you have all of it mixed up. Okay, once you have all the bread dough um, rolled in balls and rolled in sugar and just press them down and assemble them like that. Now this one has nuts and apples on it, but again, you could just do the pecans and it would be just fine. Now the remaining sugar that's left in your bag goes pour it inside your butter and that's how we're gonna make our sauce. Our delicious cinnamon butter caramel sauce. Now these are ooey gooey pull apart cinnamon buns and they are the bomb. <laughs> and we are going to put a drop of vanilla inside our butter mixture. A little bit more than a drop, but. And a little bit more cinnamon if you run out. And this is our glaze for our bread. Meanwhile, you're going to have your oven or your toaster oven preheated to 375 degrees or 350. And you're gonna cook this for 25 to 30 minutes until all done and you're gonna stick a toothpick in them and, and if they're done take them out and let them cool for about 10 minutes and then you're gonna flip them over on the plate so here's our butter mixture we're gonna pour half of it on there look at how that looks already you guys this is what makes it stick all together and pull apart from from the pan when we flip it over. So go ahead and do it like that. And believe me, it will absorb, absorb. So don't worry about that. And then you just put it in the oven, you guys, and bake it 30 minutes at 350, or until you stick a toothpick in and it's done. Then you just flip it over and enjoy. And that's how you make a simple homemade monkey bread with apple cinnamon and pecans and you can use my two ingredient dough and that's all